Hello, everyone, and welcome to this introduction to identifying Toxamerus marginatus, margin calligrapher, a very common flower fly species in North America. There are many resources to use to identify Toxamerus flies, including a key I recently posted to the Toxamerus of the United States and Canada. The key is fully hyperlinked and can be navigated by clicking. The key is divided at the start into two sections. There are about 15 species of Toxamerus in North America. Most of these occur in the area from Arizona in the west to Florida and North Carolina in the east. Only a few of them occur in the rest of North America. As a result, most of the time, it's enough to use a key to widespread species. In this area of North Carolina and Florida to Arizona, key to all species is needed. And so you can click on either of these options to begin the process of identification for this region. The key to all species begins with a separation involving essentially four different characteristics. To start, species that follow this path, going to couplet number two, have this, either the scutellum yellow to orange brown, or the hind femur entirely yellow orange. Sometimes they have both. On the other hand, the species that one identifies by following to couple of eight, have both the scutellum dark brown, usually with a yellow posterior margin, and the hind femur yellow with a black ring, or more extensively black. If the hind femur is invisible, there are a few other ways that one can proceed. First of all, the species here sometimes have these teeth sticking out of the black band at the apex of the abdominal segment, whereas the species following this way never have these teeth. They always have a smooth margin. Another thing, species that are identified along this route often have narrow, uninterrupted yellow margin at the side of the abdomen. It's never the case for species in this direction. These are the basic four characteristics that are needed to both navigate the first couplet of the key to Toxamerus species and to identify Toxamerus marginatus. So we'll start with some examples. This fly here has a yellow scutellum, which is already enough to tell us that we'll be going to the butt left group. And while we can't really see the hind femur clearly through the wing, it looks like it's entirely yellow. If there were black markings on it, I think they would show up through the wing. Additionally, we can see a yellow margin along the side of the abdomen. Any one of these three things is enough for us to go here in the key. We would click here. At this point in the key, the unbroken yellow margin along the side of the abdomen tells us that we have Toxamerus marginatus, as opposed to something that would key out later on from couple of three, which would have the side of the abdomen with alternating black and yellow band. And that's why this is identified as Toxamerus marginatus. This is our next example. You can see that it's much blurrier. We can see that the scutellum is entirely yellow. And again, the hind femur doesn't show any sign of black. At this stage in the key, we need to look for a yellow margin along the side of the abdomen. It's difficult to see here. This might be difficult to identify, and if this was in the area along the southern United States where we need to consider all the Toxamera species, I would advise leaving it a genus. Luckily, because this is at Minnesota, were we to try keying this out using the key to the widespread species, following a different route in, in our original key, we would find that this yellow band at the base of the abdomen narrowing against the side is sufficient to rule out other species. I can very quickly demonstrate it in the key. So I'll go back, choose the widespread species key. You click here since the scutellum is, is light and the hind femur is yellow orange. And now we can see that the yellow band at the base of the abdomen usually is strongly narrowed laterally. It's characteristic of Toxamerus marginatus and wouldn't be the case, it's never strongly narrowed laterally if it was going to camp the other way. But again, this only works if we're using the key to widespread species, which is north of this region because we, were, we had this observation from Minnesota. That's why this is Toxamerus marginatus. But if you saw something like this in Florida, I would advise not to identify the species without a better photo. One last example. This one is also from Florida, so we'll need to use the key to all species. This one, you can see that the scutellum is mostly dark brown with a yellow posterior margin, and that the hind femur has a black ring just before the apex. We go to our key to all species. We'll remember that the first couplet, we only go this way, which leads to Toxamerus marginatus, if the scutellum were yellow to orange brown, or the hind femur was entirely yellow orange. Since neither of these conditions is met, we would go this way in the key. As a result, this one is not Toxamerus marginalis. Well, I'm sure you have more questions on how to identify Toxamerus, particularly since the photos posed by naturalists are often relatively blurry. I hope this is a helpful introduction. Feel free to prepare more questions and send them to me, my naturalist, or when we follow up on this video at our next meeting.